Hello basketball fans, good morning, uh, once again this is Kyle and for this video, uh, this is a very sad video as we are going to make a video of the legend Kobe Bryant of the Los Angeles Lakers so if you were asking how Kobe Bryant died so basketball icon Kobe Bryant died, yes it is confirmed in a helicopter crash on Sunday in Calabasas, California he was 41 years old several news outlets reported that Bryant was in his private helicopter he was in his private helicopter at least five five people died in the crash according to the los angeles fire department so here is the video of kobe bryant here are the news here are the some videos of kobe bryant so well this is very sad news this is very sad news i hope this is not true that this is true uh, possible times so kobe bryant you are the legion we love you Breaking news in this Sunday afternoon, five-time NBA champion, former league MVP, Kobe Bryant died earlier this afternoon in Los Angeles in a helicopter crash. News reports are just coming in among multiple victims, Kobe Bryant on that helicopter. We're going to have Ramona Shelburne join us now from Los Angeles. She is uh, on her way to the scene right now. Ramona, uh, how did you first learn this information and how are you absorbing it right now? Oh my God, I mean, I was uh, outside playing with my son and I just saw an alert and I, everyone I called, you know, you, you get um, quick quick voicemails and people close to him are, are in sh absolute shock right now. And it's, you know, it's, I, I can't even process it. I'm, I live 10 minutes away from the scene, guys, and I, I can't even re remember how to drive there. It's, it's shocking that Kobe Bryant is gone. Ramona, he was a father, a husband, an NBA oh, legend, an Academy yeah. Award winner, an icon. He did it all in his 41 years. He became an Angelino, even though he wasn't born and raised there. 20 years with the Lakers will make you that. You grew up in the area. In any way, shape, or form here, can you help explain what Kobe meant, not yeah. just to the Lakers, but to the entire Southern California community? Oh, man. I mean, I, you know, when Kobe was about to retire, um, you know, I covered him his whole career here in Los Angeles. And everybody was writing retirement stories, right? Everybody was writing, you know, what he, what he meant, putting his career in perspective. And because, you know, he was drafted here as a teenager, right? I mean, I was in high school when he took Brandy to the prom, okay? So we watched this, this kid grow up, and this man, he had his ups and downs, he had his stand, he kept his glory. You, you saw him go from, from boy to man to old man, right? And I remember saying to him, like, you know, we gotta we gotta do a story at the end here. We gotta we gotta put this all into perspective. And he he really wasn't interested at first because he said, you know, everything has been written about me that could be written. I mean, everybody said everything negative, everything positive. What le what is there left to say? And I said, okay, so what is there left to say? And he said, you know, the only thing I'm interested in is leaving a legacy. 